I would I cut the bottom because this is where I put my tenon because I like this top better. This will give us a better uh, a better looking beak because this will be the top part of your bird's mouth base. So we're looking at this here. This is not what we're measuring here, which is that's about six to seven inches tall. But we're really when we cut these out of the log, we're looking to measure across this narrow part here, and then that's what we're going to cut this piece in. So when you turn this, you'll turn everything away and you'll get that round piece similar to what I've done here already. So that's one, so when you're looking for a blank, that's kind of what you're looking for. It's that oval, and then you want to measure across that narrow part, and that's how long. If you're cutting out a piece of your old wood, that's how long you want to cut the blank. Barry, uh, can you hold that, that one that's done up against the one in round is and how it looks for orientation? What? Okay, this one? Yeah, what's the orientation? If, if okay, what I'm doing here, I was going to get to that here in a minute, but what I'm doing here now, I've, I've already mounted this on my leg because it's a little heavier, and I, when I mounted in my leg, I mounted it between centers. And I, and I picked out how I wanted to turn, but I thought it would turn out good. So I always mount my top and the mount towards the head stop. And then I turn this, I put a tin uh, mortise in here. And what I'll do is I got a pretty good, it, this is pretty tough, so it'll hold what I'm going to do, hollowing and turning this and shaping this, breaking my base. And the last thing I'll probably shape will be part of this bottom because I want this mass down here to hold, hold up while I'm doing my hollowing and all that other. So now what we're looking at, now that I put that on there and I, and I put that mortise in there, then I'll turn that around and I got my chuck on here. And I'll mount that on it. I'm gonna go mount this on. I did remember that. Okay, this is where I had it on my leg. So now what we're looking at, once again, this is about, this is gonna be about two thirds of it. So what we're gonna work now, I've got this rounded, pretty pretty well rounded. It's still a little flat here, but I'm gonna, we're gonna start working and shaping this, this part up in here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start cutting, taking some of this out, and I'm gonna start forming some of this beak here. That's gonna be our next part. And then we'll slowly shape into this section right here this, this, because our bird's mouth face, this is the head, this is the neck, and then that'll be the mouth of the bird, just like the bird, baby bird sticking up out of the nest. This is its neck here. Hence, bird's mouth face. Any questions so far? Uh, very much you guys have with that. Ah, yeah, I ain't throwing that to you. <laughs> Would it be easier to do that with a four-square bit? Don't you start. <laughs> I'm not hollering yet, but yes, it would be if I would have remembered to bring it. So we're going to do it the hard way. Okay, here. Hold that down. Okay. And we'll try that out.
I'm not using a shield because that way you can hear me. Huh? <laughs> I am going to put the shield on. Come in a little bit more there. I'm not sure I've got this quite the way I want it yet. That's wrong. My my leg goes the other way. I've got, I've done something a little, little wrong. I've got to make an adjustment here. Where's that vase at? Let me look at that a minute. <laughs> I've got to remember what I'm doing to get this right. Let's hold it up a minute. Can we... Wait a minute, i got to get it out of my bag. Yeah, I got you out of the other mm -hmm. All right. This, we may have more wood here than what we need. A lot more wood than what we need. Thank you. Well, we're going to have to turn this round until we get to this, to about this point. Because we're after that, we're wanting that bark on that whole lip. I probably got more than I need here, so this is going to be, instead of a such short, squatty head, he's going to have a longer head. It'll still work.
Right, I've got this rounded out here. I've got to continue until I get this flat off of here. Almost got it here. A little bit more. Now if you look at this, this is what we were after. This was our next phase. We need that, we need that beak to slope down. And there's your beak on that now. I'm not going to take any more off. I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit more because you're turning this green and you want this as clean as possible so you're not sanding out big old tool marks or anything in here. So I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit more because once this is done, you're going to turn it to finish thickness and then you're just going to leave it at your shop or something and let it dry. If it cracks, don't worry about it. That's part of the character of the, of the piece. And, and if you get it down thin like this, you're not going to get much of a crack in it. Barry, yes. is, is a pith still in there somewhere? Or are you, it, you you're going to have a pith in it. This piece won't have the pith. If you, when you look at it later, I might wind up even turning it away. I'm not sure yet. But here's part of the pith. The way I set this up, this is the pith right here. Now I'm going to narrow, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and I'm actually going to narrow this neck a little, and I'm going to shape this part a little bit more. Any questions so far? Anybody want to come up and take a look at it before I go any further? Could you just uh, turn the whole thing around and then, and then cut your... Probably could have. Okay. Probably did that on the first one. Well, I just... I was wondering if there was a reason. Yeah, well, I, it's been a year since I turned one of these. <laughs> and I've watched uh, two or three YouTube videos on these before I turned them, and I didn't like how they explained a lot of theirs, so this has got... This one is not going to be, I think, it's not going to have this look because it's not going to be squatty because you can see how tall it is. Now, turn the bottom off. I can turn some of the bottom off it and squat and, and sharpen it down. Yes. It's not turned up yet anyhow.
looking at it, we're going to have a little different profile on our on the between the beak. That's just what this one's going to turn out like. I'm going to shape. I'm going to take a little more off of this later. I need this meat here to hollow this yet. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup in here and on the body here, and then I'm going to pull this away, and we're going to see about hollowing this. Take that off, I can't see good enough. We can hear you now. Do what? Then we can hear you now. Oh, okay. Oh, you couldn't hear me with that thing on there. I said I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more right here. Okay, most of what I got left on here, because I used this thing on here, I've got a little I'm gonna try to get rid of that part. This is a bigger one. I got a little scar mark here and I don't like that because I don't want to sand that off of my piece. If you want to come up and take a look at most of what's left on this body here, you can sand off by hand later. This is going to pull out around on you when it dries, but if you let this set, once we get it hollowed and done, if you leave it set for a day or two, come back. It won't be dry, but it'll be sandable then. You can come back and sand some of your, if you left a tool mark like this in here. And I can get to this easy enough. It's These marks down in here that are really hard to get to. But we're going to see if we can't hollow this thing now. Yes, Keith. Well, I wish I had my foster bit now. Good demo. Demonstrator would have been prepared and had one of them. Huh? I left it right there at the house. I mess up your camera? I'm going to let you adjust it. Can you adjust it? Because that, that's not going to allow me to do what I need to do.
Okay. <coughs> We're good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's good. Let's do the other All right. Make sure everything's back in order here. Experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> Tell us one of your funny stories, Mike. Tell us all about rebuilding that joiner that you had to get parts for. <laughs> Slow joiner. That's the one that's good, probably. Let me know when we're good.
Some of you, this will be a good thickness for you. I'm going to take this a little thinner. I want it closer to this here. If you want to come up and take a look and see what I've done so far. What we want to do now is we want to finish this part of the mouth before we start hollowing in here because we still got all the support and we won't have the vibration out here. Mike knows all about that. And I'm taking lighter cuts now because I've got a lot more torque and force out here. Harry, is that your you or V that you're using for your gouge? Do I? Is that a U or a V gouge? It's a V gouge. 5 8 I got the half inch. 5 8 is too big for this right now because you'd be taking too much of a cut. You put too much torque and you pull it out of that, out of that uh, chuck. I can see the profile of this going down the side. That's why you don't see me measuring the thickness of that. Uh, if you're new to it and you're a little afraid of that, stop and measure it. One more cut here and then look at it again. Come up and take a look and see what I got. I'm probably going to leave this one about like it is. I might take another pass a little later. I'm going to start working inside in here on the neck part. Yeah, you can look at that again. I don't need it now. See how thick I got that there? Yeah, that's what I was kind of like. I'm going to work this down in here a little bit more right and get in, start getting into here. Uh -huh. Then I will probably, when I get down in here a little bit, I will probably take one more pass on this yeah. to clean it up and going into the neck I feel part. That part there, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you wanted a bath that thick? Yeah, a little Half thinner. A little thinner is nicer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For demo. All right. Don't make no Michael funnel.
上。It's a lot better with an air hose and you blow all them shavings out there. It's a slow process, hot one. Thank you. 
here. Put that in my pocket. Okay. Quarter. Any questions? Anybody want to look what I've done so far? Sure. I'm fixing a hollow out. Take more of this form out, out of the, the body here, or the head. Firing mines. Go ahead. Take a look. Question. Oh, you're doing a great job. Damn, I can't believe you got in there. You're doing a great job. I'm almost deep enough. I got to go. I probably need to go another quarter to three eighths deep, but I got to take some more off of this before I go any further. I mean, you could always leave this on as a base. Yeah, Close and I can do that. something with it, like yeah. shape it as a base, you know, you can... Yeah. See what he did, man. He got the... Yeah, go ahead. I can't believe the deep in there. Wow. Here. Here. Yeah. Or your rule. Yeah, it's your rule. Yeah, yeah I'm going to probably go in another, probably another quarter to three. It's almost there, where I'm at. But that far, back room, yeah, about that far deep. Five inches. It's there. It's getting there. It'll be five. Right at it. Yeah, it's five. Well, five and a quarter. Me. We're not boring you, huh, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looking good. 
for a little more. Barry, yes. can you hold your, your tool up all the same for a few seconds so, we, so the video can... One thing about it, the shavings are getting your way if you don't clean them out.
good there. That's good there. That's pretty close. According to that, I'm still pretty thick right around in here yet. This is pretty good there. I should have said anybody that's leaving, if they want a piece of that wood to make a merged mouth base out of, they're welcome to it. You're doing a great job, Barry. Yeah, I'm, my audience is getting thinner. I'm right here, it's too. Great. We lost weight. We lost weight. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What happened to Joe tonight, Mike? I'm sorry? What happened to Joe? No, I am. Uh, Schumacher. You probably wore him out the other day. Huh? You probably wore him out the other day.
Got to clean it out again. Anybody want to come up and check out what I've got done so far? I did. Did you get in there? Did you get all the way down? I'm almost there. This is what I've been working on. I've been working on this. I've been working on this part right here, uh -huh. and this is set at two inches. Uh -huh. So this is how I check my wall thickness. Oh, I can't get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is not okay, right there. See, we're at pretty close to three eighths there. Mm -hmm. So we're really close. Now we're a little thick still in the center there, mm -hmm. but back in here, this is going to be thin. So that's, I don't want that no thinner, no. right in there. Yeah. And you can feel that, where that, right where that bump comes up, that's where I need to take some off. And I need to smooth that oh, off yeah. into here, then I can come back in here and take the rest out of the bottle. Yeah, well, I feel the transition right, uh -huh. there. right there. Yeah. That's, and you've got to do all this, you've got to kind of do, with this tools, you got to do this by feel. Yeah. You know? Are you going to hit this with some CA? No. Just, I might let it, I'll just probably leave it like it is. It's staying on there. And if you want to do a bird's mouth base, there's if you that's box elder over there, and then there's that uh, Bradford pear. Here I can move that away. No, it's fine. I got one. Yeah, I'm gonna try one, Barry. Take it. You're welcome. Two. That box, that box elder, you know, box elder turns a little different, and it's a little more seasoned. So I mean, you're welcome. Welcome to take a piece or two of that and try that even. And you can take a piece, and if you want to, bring it to turning days, and I'll help you with it a little bit. All right. All right. I'm going to do a little more here. And, what time is it? Oh, I'm going to work a few more minutes here, and I can finish this at home. I want to get past that tree. Feel inside there or anything? Or? And you feel that that's that's a good thickness right there through the neck and that. So this is all done up in here. I wouldn't mess with no more of this. 
but if you can feel your finger in there and then you can feel that bump, bump inside right there. there, that's where I want to try to take a little more and come back up into here. Then I'll then I'll start working the last of this off here. Yeah. Everybody's pretty well done. I, I might just take it home and finish it. Because <laughs> this part won't move enough that I can finish it in the morning. I'll have to do a little bit more right now. Barry, I'm going to shut down the Go system, man. Go ahead. Here, take a look at it. It doesn't want to fall off the table. <laughs>